Hey everybody, it's me, John D. Lee. How y'all be? Today, I am just wanting to thank you all for the 100 subscribers. This is the kind of early, kind of late 100 subscriber celebration, 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 celebration video. I want to thank you all for the 100 subscribers, for all the love and support on the channel. I want to thank you all for the love and support also on my Discord, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I want to just thank you all. Just thanks. I hope you all enjoy the videos that I make. I hope you all enjoy the ones that are to come. I hope you all stay around for a while for the next 100 subscribers. To when we hit 200 subscribers and afterwards whenever if ever we get more subscribers than that and so yeah I hope y'all enjoy today's video and have a wonderful day watch it till the end because it would mean a lot to me if you did this has been me Joseph Crosby aka Jot Lee Lee I'll see you all next time in another video all right goodbye <laughs>
Anyway, whenever you delete the wood block directly up underneath the tree, the rest of it just disappears. Nice new little fangled system thingy. One thing nice about this spot here too, there's not a lot of clearing out you have to do. I still want to clean out some because I want to make sure that I've got some resources to build with and other stuff like that. See, I like that whenever it does that. It makes clearing a whole lot easier. Now there's still some trees that the wood winds up going like all the way through, but there's really nothing I can do about that that much. Now to start off with on this colony, I am just going to uh, pretty much just build a little, uh, what you call it here, a little too high wall all the way around. I'm going to do that and get everything set and good and then I am going to start actually getting real into it and building the colony. So while I'm taking down these few trees here, well since I'm done with that now, I'm I guess I'm going to go ahead and start working on the uh, actual colony itself, which I will do in a second. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to build the wall here all the way around and then I will get back to you guys. Alright, cool, cool. Alright everybody, I am back. Sun's up in the sky a little bit, so I got a little bit of time to talk before it becomes nighttime. Because I don't really want to chat whenever it's nighttime. But anyway, as you can see, I built the wall here. Made a little bit of beach for myself. Put a border around the sides and all that. And then I built a maze for the zombies to walk up and down. Maze path. It works actually pretty well when you're fighting against zombies. So you got to make sure you make it a little bit longer as you get more people like this right here is enough to get work for maybe a hundred guys or so a hundred dudes but for any more than that you have to have more you know go that way a little bit more but I got pretty much started terraforming some stuff which I'm not finished with yet but before I do anything else I want to first like build a little teeny tiny house where do I want to build a house um I'll build a house. Well, how about this? I'll build one right off of the uh, flag. I like to say that's one, two, three, four blocks away from there. So, right there. And I want to build it, you know, just a little tiny house thing. Alright, so I got that done there. I'm gonna just make like a little tiny hut thing. Actually, no, I wanna make a bigger hut than that. Because I want to be able to, uh, yeah, I wanna be able to have some good people here. Quite a few people here. Yeah, that seems just about right. Huh, you see that? Some little glitches happened here and there. But that's okay, no worries. No worries to me at all. Now, what I wanna do for the backside. The front side is like a, more like a reception area type thing, so it's not not like a lot of people are going to be coming through. At least that's my hope. I want to have the back end very wide open. Oh, I am misplacing blocks everywhere, but that is okay. I am just here building a few things, but. How about this? Whenever it becomes daytime again, I should be finished with this here, which means I will be able to actually explain what I'm doing and talk to you guys, commentate a bit more. So I will finish doing this and then I'll be back to you guys in a minute. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, it's daytime now. So I got some beds set up already. I got uh, 10 of them. Now to start off with, I am going to uh, uh, show you all that we got a grocery store now and a couple of the other little things here look maybe just a little bit different or better got different kinds of science stuff now we got a happiness bar we got a colony we can recruit colony settings stuff and whatnot like that up, 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 uh, manage owners recruitment diplomacy but yeah first off before we do anything I want to go to the crown 
which as you can see it, if you didn't it looks like it's got a little uh, it and the banner tool both got a little bit better now I want some guards I want some nighttime slinger guards oh, 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 and I fell off okay yeah as you can see it's kind of difficult to remember what you're doing here now these are on the top middle so I want some nighttime slinger guards I want three of them and I want to again guard slinger two daytime ones because I want to be able to in case any zombies are left on this thing I want to be able to kill them right off now then I want to put down I want to uh, I want to start off with putting down some food make a berry farm make a berry farm up here because why not just a couple of rows here of berry farms and I'll do a couple of larger ones yeah right there we'll do you there so that's how many jobs eight jobs eight jobs and then we'll put down two more jobs how about that we'll put down you right here and I'll put you there I also want to put down a workbench and I want to make a couple more of you and before I do anything I want to set this because you don't need that many science tables don't really need any of you don't need none of you bread and all that for anything else okay that's good for there so I also want to put a chest here now then I want to pick somewhere out for me a mine entrance yeah how about right here kind of hide it hide it down in the dirt so that way if we need to we can better hide it from zombies but why we'd actually really need to do that well we don't really per se but now make sure that your banner radius is in a good area it's still good for here so we're good to continue digging straight down to but if you dig straight down here I really believe there's a chance of you running into lava at least I don't remember if there is or not pretty sure there isn't because last time I did it I just dug down until I couldn't dig anymore then you reached a piece of rock that you could just continue digging and pretty much nothing would happen alright so I found an ore level just let me dig this area out here put you there because why not and then we can start getting some ores on this thing now I do have how many jobs? 11 so that means I need to make two more beds and I also need to put down a miner because I do need to have at least one guy mining for some ores otherwise let's just say there are times when it's better if you don't find out because if you want to find out I'll let you find out because I ain't gonna tell you well I will pretty much you'll just die so yeah happy thoughts yeah now then this is pretty much start of the mine here so it's not too bad I'll make at least two more beds put you up there might as well just put you all up there and then I can grab the beds and put you down and then I will recruit some colonists how about that all right that sound good to y'all sounds good to me so put you there and then I will put you right there so yeah we put the beds down and uh, let's see is there anything else I want to do first no I think I'm good let's just go here oh and you can't do it from there anymore okay never mind go to the banner tool go to recruitment uh, recruit to fill all jobs one job day slinger guard is missing a sling okay I'm gonna make a lot of this if I can because we need ammo ammo is a very important part of a complete breakfast or a complete protection when it comes to mobs as you can see the mobs are starting to come in now the zombies they're starting to all come in they're gonna go down that way then now this way and around that way and I could make it longer I guess but those are just normal gray boys they're all right uh, yeah got my wall 
because of whenever I uh, get a bigger wall or a bigger banner radius, I'm going to extend the banner this way some. Uh, yeah. So that way I can keep these walls pretty much intact. I just got to extend that wall and that wall that way some. Uh, so yeah, pretty much we got some normal stuff down. We got this right here where we can allot a certain amount of food per day. Put you up to 1000 because that's where you need to be. So yeah, you got this new thing here for like your happiness and stuff. But yeah, you know y'all are supposed to be standing on the opposite side. <sighs> oh well, if y'all want to stand on the bed, y'all can stand on the bed. But yeah, you got your thing here where you can allot people or colonists a certain amount of food per day. And then also other items as well. Clothes, learning, and all that other stuff. Right now my happiness level is 17. I could extend it, I guess, somehow. But I'm not going to go into how to do that. Um, yeah, pretty much done with that. I'm going to try to finish terraforming some of my stuff here. Because, well, why not? I'm going to try to make everything look somewhat nice as long as uh, I got the means to do so I will so hmm I'm trying to think of what else I could do here just to show stuff off I mean there's a lot of stuff I could do but how much do I actually want to go into because I've already been recording for almost an hour actually I have been recording for about an hour if you count all the uh, spots of me just sitting around doing nothing when I'm actually building this stuff not talking which is not going to be actually shown in the recording but yeah wanted to just pretty much let y'all know that I'm here doing all different kinds of other stuff oh and by the way if this all does well and good I want to thank everybody for uh, helping me hit 100 subscribers. I mean, like, I just want to say thank you pretty much to everybody. Thank you for the support and all that. Almost forgot while recording this here. But yeah, I'm, I pretty much hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. All thanks to y'all guys watching and subscribing. Leaving likes and all that fancy jazz. Hell, some of y'all are even nice enough to join my fan Discord, which I really do appreciate. And thanks to the 100 subscribers, I now also have a custom URL. So yeah, y'all could find me a lot easier on YouTube now. All you have to do is pretty much just Google YouTube.com forward slash JotDLeeGaming, all one word, or YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash JotDLeeGaming one word and that'll pretty much bring you right to my channel I think it's pretty cool and neat and all that which means it'll be easier for like me setting up stuff for for my YouTube channel especially for like linking my YouTube channel with uh, as like a business website for certain things but I mean yeah I want to thank everybody for that for a nice 100 subscribers next goal is 200 and hopefully eventually maybe a thousand or a hundred thousand if we're lucky I don't know if we'll I'll ever get that lucky but I'm hopeful oh you guys are rock stars so far allowing me to have a hundred subscribers and a custom URL I mean I'm just thankful pretty much that was pretty much the main thing I wanted to talk about whenever I first started recording but <laughs> uh, knowing me I'm an idiot I kind of Got sidetracked when I first started here and completely forgot about that till pretty much close here to the end of the recording. But, eh, that's okay. I mean, I'm still saying it now, so. As long as we uh, can. Yeah, you know, as long as I can just thank everybody for the love and support for the channel, then I think everything should really be alright. We might one day get a million subscribers. Which that would be very lovely if we did. Because then I could do start doing a whole lot more for everybody. But I'll have to wait for that day. Because like with everything else, it takes time. I mean, I, I've had this YouTube channel for 
a little bit more than three years now, I think. And I just now hit 100, so, yeah. It, it's been a fair time in the making, but, I mean, it's something. I guess once I start posting content, actually, you know, like I said I would, or close to it, at weekly, like I, at least one a week is what I tried to do. Lately, I've been traveling around the U.S., doing, working for some watermelons, because I gotta work to make money in order to keep making these videos for you guys, but I do what I can with what I got, and I try to pretty much do one video a week. Now, traveling here, it's been a lot tougher. This is actually the first video I've really been able to do. I tried to live stream twice. Once it worked, second time, uh, not so much, but yeah, pretty much. I just wanna wanted to say thank you and all that cool stuff. You guys are great and awesome. Love y'all a lot. Uh, yeah. I mean, I should probably just leave it there, but knowing me, I'm just gonna drag it out as long as I can. Because, well, that's me, that's who I am. <sighs> but yeah. I guess on this nice starry night here, next to the banner and everything, I guess I will call the video there. While my people are shooting zombies and stuff. So yeah, this has been me, Jot D. Lee, a.k.a. Joseph Crosby. Thank you all for the 100 subscribers, and I will see you all next time in another video. Alright, goodbye!